In this example, we want to approximate the uh, alternating series using the first six terms. Okay, So the series that you see here is alternating and also can be verified that it's converging. Um, and it can be, um, we can easily verify that by taking the limit of the nth term, which is going to go to zero, and the nth plus one term is less than or equal to the nth term. Okay, So I strongly encourage you to check those conditions. But for now, this is a, uh, we're going to work with this. This is a converging alternating series. Okay, so let's, uh, we can do this by using the, uh, the idea of the remainder, the remainder term. Okay, so just recall that for alternating series, we have that the actual series minus the nth partial sum is less than or equal to the nth plus one term. Okay, so this can be expanded out. Okay, so algebraically, this is equivalent to minus the nth plus one term less than or equal to s minus s n less than or equal to the nth plus one term. Okay, and then from here we can isolate uh, we can isolate s just by adding s of n on both sides. So that's going to give us s n minus nth plus one less than or equal to s and this is smaller than s n plus the nth plus one term okay so what we have here we have we have we have a bound we have bounds on our sum okay so this is the lower bound okay and this is the upper bound So very similar to what we did with the integral test, okay? Okay, this is how we can approximate um, a series, okay? All right, so, okay, let me, so this is our upper bound. Okay, so we wanna do this, uh, we wanna approximate the series using the first six terms, okay? All right. So let's go ahead and calculate s of six. Okay. So this is equal to the summation going from one to six. Okay, so starting with one, okay, we're gonna get one. Then with two we get we're gonna get minus one half. With three we get uh, one six. Four we're gonna get minus one over twenty-four. 5, we're going to get 1 over 120. And then for the 6th term, we get minus 1 over 720. Okay. And this is all equal to 91 over 144. Okay. And we can approximate that. That's just 0 0.63194. So let's assume that we're using 5 decimal places. Okay. So now let's uh let's calculate the seventh term okay so we want to approximate this using six terms so we need the seventh term okay all right so the seventh term will be okay so when we have n plus one so for seven or for six terms it's going to be seven okay so this is going to be equal to one over seven factorial. So one over seven factorial is equal to one over 5,040. And that is approximately point, let's see, 0 0.0002, okay? So now we have everything to come up with our bounds. So we have, okay, uh, from here, we have that for, for six terms, it's going to be S6 minus the seventh term. And this is going to be, that's going to be our lower bound. And this is going to be less than S7 plus, oh, sorry. And this is six, sorry. For N equals six. And this will be seven. Okay. 
So now we, we have those values. Okay, so we're gonna plug those in. So that's gonna give us, so S of six was 0 0.63194. Minus point zero 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 two. And that's going to be less than or equal to s, and s is going to be less than or equal to zero point six three one nine four plus point zero 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 two. Okay, then so from here we're going to get zero point six three one seventy four less than or equal to s and that is less than equal to see, 0.63214 okay so those are the bounds on our summation okay so whatever the series whatever the actual value of the series is it's going to fall between 0.63174 and 0.63214 so keep in mind okay that as as we increase the number of bounds, or I'm sorry, the number of terms, okay? All right, so as we increase the terms, okay, um, this approximation will get better and better, okay? So just a slight note here. So as the number of terms go to infinity, we're gonna get a better approximation, okay? So S of N, so the partial sums will get closer and closer to S. Okay, the actual sum. Okay, so it turns out um, if you're curious, this series, the actual sum of this series is, it turns out that the actual sum here for a series is 1 minus 1 over e, which is approximately uh, 0 0.63212. Okay. Bounded to five decimal places. So you can see it, it falls between the lower bound and an upper bound. Okay.